Hello friends, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we will discuss the friends pairing problem. The problem says that you are given an integer n that is the number of friends. Now our task is to find the total number of ways in which the friends remain single or can form a pair with some other friend. Here it is important to note that each friend can be paired only once. That is, say if you are pairing a person A with some other person, say B, then you can't pair A or B with C again. This is a necessary constraint here. Let's understand the given problem with the help of an example. If input n is equals to 3, that means there are 3 friends. Now we can combine them in 4 possible ways. That is, either all will remain single or two pairs of with three and one remains single or one pairs of with two and three remains single or at last one pairs of with three leaving two alone. So, there were four total possible ways which gave us four as the output. Here, note that if one pairs up with two or two pairs up with one, then both the cases are considered to be the same. Now, how to find out the total number of ways efficiently? Let the function f of n defines the number of ways in which n friends can be arranged. On careful observation, we can see that for every person, we have two choices. That is, either a person will remain single or he can pair up with someone. If he remains single, then the problem reduces to the number of ways in which n minus 1 people arrange themselves so that we can recur for f of n minus 1 in this case. But if he pairs up with someone, then we have n minus 1 possible options for him to pair up and then the count depends on the number of people minus 2 means the current person and the one he has paired up with. Hence, in that case, we would recur for f of n minus 2 and multiply it with n minus 1. Hence, overall, we can write the function f of n recursively as f of n minus 1 plus n minus 1 into f of n minus 2. Now, this recursive formula seems to have the overlapping subproblems and optimal substructure property. Hence, we can of course apply some dynamic programming to remember the pre-computed results to improve the overall time complexity of the solution. Here, it can be seen that we can easily calculate f of n if we already have the calculated values for f of n minus 1 and f of n minus 2. Having said that, let us look at the implementation of the solution using some tabulation methods. Here, we have a function named count friends pairings which takes the integer n as the argument and returns the number of ways in which those n friends can arrange themselves. At first, we initialize the array of integers named dp with the size of n plus 1. The ith index in this array stores the number of ways in which the i friends can arrange themselves. Now taking care of the base cases, if we have only one person, then he has to remain single and hence we have dp of 1 as 1. And if we have two people, then we have two possible arrangements that is either both will remain single or both pair up together. Hence dp of 2 is equals to 2. In any case, for i less than equal to 2, we have dp of i equal to i. Considering this, we run a for loop in the value of i 
from 0 to n that is the total number of friends and for i less than equal to 2 we have dp of i equal to i and otherwise we apply the same recursive formula here that is dp of i equals dp of i minus 1 plus i minus 1 into dp of i minus 2. At last we return the dp of n as the output to the given problem. Let us now look at the complexity analysis of the approach. Looking at the time complexity, we need to iterate for every value of i from 1 to n which gives us the time complexity of the order of n. Now coming on to the space complexity, here we need to store the results for each possible value of i from 1 to n into the array named dp. This finally gives us the space complexity of big O of n. So that's all for now folks. I hope you have understood the possible solution to the given problem. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share the video among your friends and also subscribe if you haven't already.